Hello and welcome back. I'm Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos and it's vlog day today. So happy to see every single one of you. So first and foremost, I got this all done, completed. So this is that lid I was telling you about. It screws and like a straw goes straight into the middle. So I'll make sure to put what kind of tumbler this is down in the description box for you guys. But I really like how this lid is. It's kind of cool. You could even dress this up too. I don't know if I'd go too far out on the edge there just so that way you can unscrew it and everything, but that's her all finished. <laughs> all right, so anyways, today we are going to be making up this guy right here. Super simple. I'm gonna be using printable holographic paper. Printable holographic paper. There we go. It's intended for sticker use, but uh, we're gonna use it to wrap our tumbler and then place some inks and glitter over top of it. And there we go. <laughs> and of course, I'm going to show you guys how to do the decal. It says road tripping, destination unknown. I really like that because that's our most favorite thing to do is to basically just on the weekends, we'll jump in the car and just go, you know, and wherever we end up is where we end up. You know, we found really cool places doing, doing it that way. So we'll just get a bunch of road snacks and head out and see what we stumble upon. This quote really, really uh, means something to me. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but my tutorials, the last couple tutorials have been like kind of like travel themed. I'm trying to do more of like themed things, you know, I don't know. We'll see how far that takes me, <laughs> but I'm trying to do more like themed things. It just makes it easier for me when I try to come up with concepts. I kind of bounce my ideas around off these different ideas of kind of the same concept, but different design type things. So it's been working out for me, but I have one more to do uh, with the travel theme coming up this Friday. So, <laughs> and then who knows where we'll, where we'll go from there. All right, well, we got a lot of work to do. So I got, this is what we're making. <laughs> this is what I finished. So I got, I got these guys and I'm ready to wake up, prep these tumblers and slay all day. Let's do this. All right, so this is the paper that I'm gonna be using. I found it on Amazon, but I, they do have a just regular website as well. So these are holographic vinyl sticker sheets. Okay, I think I said paper earlier. It's not paper, it's vinyl. Okay, printable vinyl, there we go. But it comes with a whole bunch of instructions on the back, super easy to use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull one out and I'm gonna bring it into my crafting area to where I do all my printing and stuff. So in order for it to fill my sheet completely, because I wanted to make sure that it was big enough to be able to wrap around my, wrap around my tumbler, I'm gonna go ahead and upload my image right into Microsoft Word. All you're gonna do is just make a blank page. You're gonna go into uh, pictures and you're gonna insert the picture that you choose. So the images that I found here, I got right off of Creative Fabrica. Again, I'll put everything into the description box for you guys. I'm just gonna bring up a whole slew of like city maps for you guys so that, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do down there and then you can just choose what you want but they actually had one of the city we live in so I'm gonna choose that you know so <laughs> I didn't quite know what I was doing here but this is what I know okay you upload your photo <laughs> you go over into the margins you get rid of all the margins you just bring them all down to zero okay that's all you want to do that's that's all I did and it saved it from the last time I did it because this this was me showing you after I had already printed it out and tried to figure it out. So you just bring up uh, custom margins and you're gonna bring everything down to zero. That, that's it, that's all you wanna do. And because I didn't want the wording at the bottom, I am just gonna take these little tabs at the top and it's going to expand the photo, but not like bring it out. You you see what I'm you see what I'm doing here? So I'm just expanding the photo, zooming in on the photo to get rid of the wording down at the bottom. And that's pretty much it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go ahead and print that out on that holographic vinyl. So after I printed that out, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my tumbler. I'm gonna give it a little sand here. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all that debris off or you can wash it off uh, with soap and water, uh, but I'm just using rubbing alcohol to, to wipe everything off just so that way, cause we're sticking the vinyl right to the tumbler, you know, so there we go. <laughs> So I did print out two. I printed the one from Microsoft Word and this one I printed out uh, through uh, the Cricut Design Space. There we go, oh my goodness. So it would fit through Cricut Design Space if you did it this way. You just have to be very good with your measurements to make sure that it's going to fill the paper properly. So if you don't wanna do Microsoft Word, you can obviously go ahead and do it in that fashion if you'd like to. Just make sure your measurements are good to go. 
but I'm just using a 20 ounce skinny, so it's not too big, but you know, a 30, a big old skinny 30, I don't know if this would, would work the same, so. <laughs> And before we get it cut, I'm gonna go ahead and measure it. I'm gonna measure around, I'm gonna measure the height and all that stuff before I cut out my, my paper. Now, I think I forgot to mention this earlier, but it doesn't matter you know, how good the, the city image is on the paper, because we're gonna be covering with inks and stuff anyways. You just want the concept of it on it. So, you know, because some of it's gonna be filled in, you're not gonna be able to see all of it, but definitely those places that are gonna peek out, you want to be able to see that. So it doesn't matter how well you get the city picture on there, just as long as you get it on there. All right, now that everything's all cut and ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and peel back probably about an inch of my, my vinyl here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get that applied. So if you need to, make sure you have a nice straight line going from the top to the bottom to kind of help you out with making sure that your vinyl is straight. I'm just gonna eyeball it, that's just what I do. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this rolled on. So as I am rolling this on, I'm just really trying to focus on making sure that there's no bubbles on the inside, like towards the middle of my vinyl. The outer rim, we can work with that. We'll work with that as we go, but the inside, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get rid of those. So just make sure that you press in all that air out as you go. So this sticker vinyl is a little bit stiffer than what we're used to working with. So it was a little bit more difficult to get it to kind of form around the bottom of the tumbler and everything, but that's okay. I'm gonna come through and trim up that bottom anyways. So I'm just gonna take my knife, I'm gonna lay it flat against my table, holding it down very, very tightly to the table and just press my tumbler up against it and roll it around like that to trim up my bottom and the top. And after I peeled that back, I noticed that some of that sticky film off the back kind of stayed stuck to the tumbler. So I'm just gonna come through with some rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna very carefully just rub the stickiness off the areas that I don't want it on. You really don't want to rub this onto the vinyl itself because it could smudge the inks that we had printed on there. And there we go, nice and clean, just like that. Now, before I put on the epoxy, you are supposed to make, they're not waterproof. So to make it waterproof, you have to either seal it with a spray sealer or with a laminate sheet over top. So I'm gonna do the spray sealer. Now I have 20 milliliters of epoxy here and I'm gonna put a little bit of silver and alfresco down into my 20 ml so that way we have a nice sparkly base for what we're going to do. And now we are gonna go ahead, after I got that all stirred in, we're gonna go ahead and apply all 20 milliliters of that epoxy over top of our base here. Now you may notice my base seemed to have changed color just a tad. It still has that holographic look to it, but I noticed after I added the spray sealer to it, it kind of got this kind of white film over top. Um, I, what The only thing I can think of is it was kind of humid the day that I did it, and so moisture might have got trapped in there whenever I did it, but it didn't really affect it too much because after I got the epoxy applied and everything, that holographic shine did come back. So, you know, sometimes that happens with my water slides as well to get that kind of milky look over top, and that's how I know that humidity kind of got into it as I was spraying. So that's probably what happened to me here. But other than that, it really, you really couldn't notice after all the inks and everything got applied. And like I said, you could still see that, that hollow shine through it. And if you guys can hear birds, there's this bird outside and he's just going to town. All right. Yeah, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna have to just deal with the bird in the background. I don't know, he won't go away. <laughs> All right, and after I got all of my epoxy applied, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it up now with my torch popping all those micro bubbles before I add my ink. I'm not using too many colors today. I'm gonna be using a pink, a yellow, a blue, and a purple. That's all I'm gonna be using today. And the only other thing you're gonna need is something to push everything around. I'm gonna use my handy dandy blow dryer or you could use a heat gun. So to get it going, I'm gonna start with my lighter colors first. I'm gonna start with my yellow and my pink, and I'm I'm gonna kinda load these colors up. Uh, the reason why I'm gonna do that is because, again, they're lighter, so you can kinda see through them a little bit better. And I, I don't want to overpower my tumbler with the dark colors, so I'm just going to come in, like I said, with these light colors and just dab those around here and there. Then after I do my light colors is when I'll come in with my darker colors, and I'm not gonna do too many of these. So as you see here, I'm just gonna do a few here and there because I don't want that to overpower it too much. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that purple and then I'm gonna come through and do a little bit of that blue as well. 
Then after I do a little bit of that first round, you see I didn't put too much on just yet, I just in case, because I didn't want to overpower it. Now is the time I'm gonna go ahead and come through and blow everything around really well with my blow dryer. And that crease that you see, I know you guys see it, there's a crease in the center of uh, my vinyl. That's the reason why I didn't make this a full-on tutorial because it had that crease. So that's why we're just gonna do it in our vlog. It's not a big deal, it's still a good tumbler. The crease didn't bother me, I was able to cover it. I'll show you how I covered it in a minute, but that's the reason why I didn't make this a tutorial and just we're doing a vlog with it. <laughs> so <laughs> it wasn't exactly quote unquote perfect, you know. So now after I blow that around for a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the turner and tip it down. You can see it running down. I actually ran this to the point where it kind of did drip off the bottom a little bit because we did add a lot of epoxy to this. The reason why we wanted to add so much epoxy to this is so that way everything could slip around and have more of a fluid look to it. If you didn't add enough epoxy and then we're applying so much heat to it with our, our heat guns and whatnot, it could start to separate your epoxy away from the base and we didn't want that. So um, that's why we wanted to add so much epoxy so that way as we're working with this heat, I mean, and, and again, you wanna be careful with how much you, heat you apply. So, but with the amount of heat that we're working with, it could potentially make fish eyes. So, but with this much epoxy, you should be okay as long as you don't, like I said, don't set your heat gun in one place. You're going to be doing up and down motions, back and forth until everything starts to move around and then you want to take that heat off of it and that's really going to help out as well. But as you guys watched uh, me doing as I was talking there, I did come through and added a whole bunch of pink, okay? It was nothing but pink. I just filled in all the extra spots and now we're just gonna come through and blow it around even more, getting that nice and fluid moving around, making those colors kind of run, but not too much run together. And I'm gonna let that turn probably for about five minutes just to kind of keep an eye on it. I am using a regular set of epoxy for this as well. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm gonna go ahead and let that spin for about five minutes. After that five minutes is up, I'm gonna go ahead and take it back off my turner. Again, I'm gonna hold it until it's pretty much almost dripping off the bottom, which is gonna help out with any type of buildup you may have around the bottom as well. Sometimes that does happen, with, especially as it starts turning. You're gonna get that extra buildup around the bottom that you, you just don't like. So you can tip it to the point that it's doing that, and then we're gonna place that back onto our turner and let it cure. And as you see, after I put it back onto my turner, it still has that beautiful hollow shine to it. Now, after I let this cure, I'm gonna add another, I think this was about 10 milliliters of epoxy. I did the same thing where I added the sparkle dust into it, the silver and the alfresco into it. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that 10 ml straight over top. And we're gonna sprinkle some glitter over top as well. And after I put on that 10 ml, of course, I'm gonna put it onto my turner. I'm gonna hit it up with my blowtorch before I apply my glitter. And the glitter I'm gonna be using today is called Razzleberry. And I'm just gonna take that and we're just gonna do pinchfuls of that straight over top. So right there, right where that crease is at, that's how I'm gonna cover that up, okay, see? Nobody's gonna know except us, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit around the top and the bottom. Again, just little pinchfuls. And if you wanna focus on like one particular color, you could do that as well. So that way you kind of have like a organization to it or just kind of do it randomly, kind of like how I am. I'm kind of doing it in the blue spots and then just making sure again around the top and the bottom and a few big patches in the center. And after I get done sprinkling on as much as I would like, I'm gonna go ahead and let that cure. And of course, because we have that raw glitter over top, we're gonna need to epoxy it yet again, okay? <laughs> I don't think I put any more sparkle dust into this round. I think that was it for the sparkle dust, the last round of epoxy. I can't, I can't remember. Yeah, I think this is just clear epoxy. So <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and epoxy this smooth so that way I can add my finishing decals. And speaking of those finishing decals, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I did that. So the fonts, all the fonts I used here, I got right off of Creative Fabrica. I believe one was like a college font and then the other one, I can't remember the name of it. But all I did was type out the, th the words that I want. So road trip or road tripping, I did um, separate. And then unknown, I did separate because I wanted those two to be um, kind of like a, a nice swirly font. And then destination, I did in this college font. So all you wanna do is just type out the quotes that you want 
and then you want to add a offset behind them and the offset we're going to do in a black vinyl and then road tripping and unknown is going to have a are going to be done in a white vinyl over top and then the word destination is going to have like this kind of sparkly satin pink to it so it's basically just typing up the words that you want to say making sure that you do the offset in a black um, then you have your white for the other two words and then the sparkly pink for the center one and I made mine you don't want it over six inches in length because I'm going to be doing it you know up and down from the from the bottom to the top and then you don't want it over three inches in width so that way you can easily see it when you're looking at it straight on all right so I have everything all cut out I have my lid on to kind of help me keep it straight where I would like it and this, I'm going to go ahead and lay down the offset for destination first so I'm going to go ahead and get that lined up and applied and I just try to visually make sure that the gap at the top and the bottom is about even at the top and the bottom so it's about an inch inch and a half on on both sides there then I'll go ahead and come through and apply the sparkly pink over top of that. So we're doing the center portion first, and then we're going to overlap the other words over top. So now I'll go ahead and take the offset for the top portion of my words here, road trippin', and I'm going to go ahead and place that down. I am, again, making sure that it kind of overlaps just a little bit over top of my wording. If you don't feel comfortable with doing this, go ahead and put a coat of epoxy over the top of the word destination, and then come through and apply your other words over the top and the bottom if you want to. So now that that's applied, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, unknown portion right up underneath the word destination. And I just wanted to make sure that was kind of over off to the other side. So um, road tripping was on one side, unknown on the other side. So that way you could kind of see everything. And again, make sure you overlap it just a little bit just to kind of give it a pretty cool look to it, I thought. <laughs> then all that's left to do is apply the last bit of your, your wording over top. Make sure it's burnished down really, really well. Apply your last finishing coats of epoxy and she is ready to go. Super easy. I really love how that turned out. I really like how you can kind of see the map underneath just here and there, just little little uh, bits of it here and there, but I really like how that turned out. Super easy. Now, if you did not really care if you did printable vinyl or not, like if you didn't really have something in mind that you really wanted to print out and put on there, you could absolutely use just your regular, what is this? This opal pattern pack, like this is just tech wrap stuff, but you could use your, put that stuff down as on your base, you know what I mean? Like have that on a base. Let me see. I got some more stuff here. You could use the hollow rainbow sheet packs. Like you could pretty much use, use whatever you want on your base. I've seen people use this quite a bit, but this technique's been out for quite a while. I can't, I don't know who came up with the idea. I can't remember what it's called. Okay, but whoever you are, if you know who was the originator of this, let me know below so that way I can say thank you. But thank you to the person who originally came up with the idea. But they also sell, uh, Tech Wrap sells uh, holographic vinyls, just straight up holographic, like the printable ones that we used. So they do have like a hollow sheet pack. I, I don't know where mine's at, but so you could actually even just use plain holographic vinyl just regular old and you might be able to form it a little bit better to the top and the bottom that's the only thing it's a little bit stiffer so it was a little bit harder to form it which is why I, I went ahead and I trimmed it around the top and the bottom but again I mean you can't really tell that I had to trim it so you know can't really tell but yeah super easy super cute really just I can't believe how easy it is just pick out your favorite colors put it on there we're good all right, guys. Well, it's Mother's Day. I hope all of you wonderful mothers are having a fabulous day. I know I am. So happy Mother's Day, everybody. I don't quite know what I'm doing next weekend yet. It's a, it's a choice between two things. So we shall see. I'm not going to say just in case because I don't know which one I want to do yet. So, <laughs> but I do have next weekend planned out. <laughs> All right, guys, but I think that's going to do it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.